some reservations about the intent of it. Tenape. Kinakwe Tēnei whare āhua pākeha nei, e haramo te pākeha anake. Kei konei tātou, kei konei tātou mua ke tonu atu me kaua e wareware, kei konei mua ke tonu atu. Mr. Speaker, there is a famous quote by Sir James Henry that says, it is preposterous that Māori should aspire to be poor pākeha. And by the actions of the Crown throughout the years that they have engaged with Ngāti Kahuki Whangorua, it is exactly that that they wished Māori would aspire to. That is evident. That is evident throughout this settlement. Even in the documentation itself. <laughs> well, let me just, let me go straight there. To, <laughs> this is exactly what it says. It says, the Crown failed to consider customary rights. The Crown failed to assess the impact of alienation of these lands on Ngāti Kahuki Whangorua. The Crown failed to survey these lands. The Crown did not challenge the Native Land Court's 1870 award of nearly 4,000 acres to Taimaro within the period provided in the Native Land Laws uh, and ignored the appeals. The Crown coerced them into surrendering the title for the block. Failed, coerced. The Crown did not include all areas occupied and cultivated by Ngāti Kahu Ngunu, uh, sorry, that's me, Ngāti Kahu Ki Whangorua. See, that's our whakapapa link right there. <laughs> the Crown failed to ensure that Ngāti Kahu Ki Whangorua retained adequate reserves. <sighs> the Crown went on. Lands were susceptible to partition, fragmentation, and alienation. And by the end of all the Crown's efforts, even after the Second World War, Ngāti Kahu Ki Whangorua was left absolutely landless and, and removed from their area where most of the whānau live outside, outside the areas. They lost sites of significance. Wahi tapu, urupa. Deprived owners, deprived owners of significant income that they had expected to receive from the 30 year lease. And I think to myself, just imagine when people look at Māori and say, oh my gosh, you're at the bottom of every disparaging statistic. And I think about how great our ancestors were, the dreams that they had for us, how they tried to retain their land how they protested at every turn, how they set up farms, how they set up areas for cultivation to trade because they were entrepreneurial. That the very first, the very first sort of um, uh, bartering system trading of goods came from Māori to these new settlers. How you welcomed them in so you could take the technologies and trade. How that if that had been allowed to continue, what a different place we would be in today. And yet you come today to accept the pittance that the Crown has offered. And sometimes, I'm not sure, but for me sometimes that feels like it's out of pure frustration that we've come so far and yet we have to accept so little, but we must go on. Ngāti Kahuki Whangorua, you guys have waited a long time to come to this point, and it has been held up for a, part, for a time to consider the petition and the struggle of Ngāti Ōkiwa. Yes, I travelled there. Yes, I went to listen, because that's our job, to listen, to take things into account. 
But what is not our job is to determine whakapapa, is to determine who has the most say, is to determine whether or not people are talking to each other. I'm sorry, but that is now your job. <coughs> and it always has been. And we recognise that that is difficult. And all of us, i roti Aotearoa katoa, come to this point. There has not been a treaty claim in this House where there has not been a dissenting voice, where there has not been a group of people who feel that their words have not been articulated in the settlement, where there has not been a hapu who felt that their uh, interests had been ignored. And they ask us as a committee to make the right decision. And who does that? Not you, the Crown. The Crown, over hundreds of years, have come to this place and asked us to be poor Pākehā. I can't sugarcoat it. That's exactly what they asked us to do in legislation, by law, in this country. And it left it up to us to prove to them that they didn't. Left it, us, left, left it up to yourselves to prove to them that their records were wrong, that their actions were wrong. Overwhelmingly, the evidence that you have to go and search out yourselves, because nobody gives you a hand up in that area. Overwhelmingly, the evidence is that they have mistreated Māori for generation after generation after generation. In the list of failures that I started to read, they continue right up until 1958. And we can... <laughs> we can say that actually they probably continue today. And yet we come with an eye looking to the future to say, okay, we are where we are and we're willing to move on because we're resilient and we're Māori and we're strong and we thrive. And no matter what happens to us, we still stand up and we still take the reins and we still show them that if you have a little bit of faith, just an inch, faith as small as a mustard seed if you're a biblical type of person, you can move mountains. And when our people are united, we can overcome all things. And I put it to you, Ngāti Kahu... <laughs> I was going to say it again. Ngāti Kahu ki whangarua. I put it to you that... The time is now, and it is within your hands to settle whatever issues are in front of you so that as a people together, unitedly, you can be strong and move forward and take the reins. For these ones, as Peony talked about, our tamariki mokapuna. Too often in this house, I see decisions made for the next three years, just so we can get popularity points and continue to be the government or change it, one or the other. We get sick of one and kick them out, get sick of them and kick them out as the ever-revolving door of the blue and red. But the opportunity is within your own hands to take your own grasp of the future and make decisions for our grandchildren's grandchildren. Because sometimes I think this house forgets that. The decisions we make need to be enduring. The decisions we make need to be uh, looking ahead. We will not be the beneficiaries of this settlement. You and I will not be the beneficiaries of this settlement. They will, and their mokopuna that come after them, for our posterity. So it's a hard day, it's a good day, and we've finally got to this point and so quickly, over and over again, we've seen many of our people come through this house and they go from grievance to future, from protest to progress, and switch their eyes to the future for the beneficiaries of tomorrow, our tamariki mokapuna. So I mihi to you.
I mihi to all of you for all of the efforts that you've made on behalf of them, despite the Crown. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora mai tatu katoa. I call Joanne Hayes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Anuitimi hiatu ki a kaitai ngā whānau ngā hapū.